Hey, Josh. Turn off the first row lights and then turn off the third row lights. Lighting over Cat6 cable. Ladies and gentlemen, the feature is now. Uh, why should you consider going with lighting over Cat6? Um, there are several advantages that it offers over the standard uh, lighting being powered by Romex cable. Um, the biggest one is them being individually addressable. So if you are watching a movie and you somebody needs to go to the restroom, you can create a path with a single light or two lights just to exit the room. So which means only the light can over the exit will go on while the rest of them stay off. Uh, there's also the ability to um, basically control lighting by rows. You can group the lights so that you're controlling them by row as well. So you can have row one turn on, row two turn on or off, row three, depending on how many rows of lighting that you have in the room. Hey Josh, turn off the first row lights and then turn off the third row lights. I turned off the lights. There we go. So uh, we get control over each row without having to run four separate switches. Hey Josh. Turn on 1-1. One one. Hey Josh, turn on 1-3. On. So yes, the logic in which you program plays a huge role. When you have a lot of lights, in this room we have 16 lights, and each of them individually addressable. So, but by, by uh, naming them in ways that make sense, you can just with your voice, if you pair it with Josh, control each light individually. Now, some of these are possible using standard Robex, but each one has to be its own lighting circuit. And then you have to have a switch to control each one. Versus with this, everything is running back to your rack. They're being powered by a power over ethernet uh, switch. And then the programming happens. Um, if you're using a control system like Control 4, that's what we use. Then the programming happens in Control 4. If you want that individual addressability, name the lights appropriately. This all happens during setup. So in this situation, what I've been doing on client sites is the first number represents the row, and then the second number represents the number from left to right in that row. So for instance, 1.1, 1 1-1, 1 1, sorry. That's going to control that light specifically. And then I can change the intensity as needed. Uh, same with 1-2, 1-3. If I want to go to the second row, so now I'm moving to the second row lights. 2-1, 2-2, 2-3. So when you program it like that, it uh, becomes uh, very intuitive to control individual lights. The company that we use for our uh, lighting over Cat6 is a company called Poet, P-O-E-W-I-T. So they have their own app uh, application on your phone. It's actually extremely robust. So if somebody just wants lighting functionality without a control system, then that can absolutely work as well. They can just use the app to control the lights. Um, so Poet, they also make a lighting switch that's also powered over Ethernet, powered by the Cat6 cables as well.
So, you know, you have a lot of functionality there. They make motion detectors as well. They make exterior security lighting. So there's really a long list of products and all of those powered by Cat6. And it really gives you a lot of control. Um, now, one important aspect to consider is you need to have control over your network. So if you're already using Control 4, then your integrator will will have already set up your network to be robust. If your network is not robust, fix it. Call them, get get a robust network because the more devices that you start to add, if you're still using your ISP's uh, router, you know, the, they have the routers with the built-in Wi-Fi, that is not sufficient for a true smart home whatsoever. So fix that ASAP. Call your local integrator. Um, if you're in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, call us. That's where we're located, and we can help you out wherever you are. Get your network as strong as possible because that is the backbone upon which everything else will rely on uh, when it comes to control and accurate control, immediacy of control. All these are factors that are governed by the network and the expertise with which it was laid out.